Hi everybody, just wanted to uh, share the results of one of my ex guitar experiments here. Um, when I was working on the X5 originally, one of the things I did with it is I messed around with the height of the screws on the pickup. If you've got a humbucker with screws, I discovered that you can almost use them like the sliders on an EQ in order to change the the tone you get out of the uh, pickup. So on the X5, what I ended up doing, and it was just for the the pickup that happened to be in that, which is not actually this pickup, I raised up the uh, the two outer screws by by about six full turns. And then what I found was that that actually, well, that brightened the, that gave you more bass and more more treble on your on your top and your bottom strings. It also made these next two strings, number two and five strings, awfully loud. So I've got a couple kittens who are pulling on the wire for this thing. So what I did was, so I actually had to back these off some because of it. What you doing? Hi. What you guys up to? Where'd that wire go, huh? There you go. Go ahead, play. Okay, so, yeah, so I cranked these up in order to get some bass and treble. But I found that because of that, the next strings over were like super, super loud. So, yeah, apparently the the pickup is weaker here and very stronger, much stronger here. So I actually backed these off like 12 full turns. And, uh, and then in the middle, um, I only had to back it off like six turns in order to get a, a, a flatter, I guess you'd say, response curve out of it because naturally the response curve on a on a pickup is generally going to be kind of this shaped or actually I guess based on this it's going to be more like kind of this shaped so or maybe even like kind of this shape up and not quite so real peaky obviously in order to get it as flat as possible it's it's peakiest in this area even more so than right in the mids. It's peakier at the upper mids and lower mids. So yeah, that's something that you can do in order to try to at least influence the uh, the, frequ the frequency response curve or the tone that you get out of a humbucker that has screws. And, uh, and yeah, so I just, I was working on this thing and talking about balancing pickups and, and relative volumes and you can do it even if you this has hot rails but this is with if you've got a humbucker with screws you can move the screws in order to get even better string to string volume balance but you can also adjust the screws in a somewhat more radical manner in order to actually seriously modify the well not seriously but at least try to influence the 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 tone you get out of the pickup overall so yeah so something like this basically gives me more more bass and more treble and less mid and this is just to compensate for these guys being up so high basically so it gives you it gives you more top and bottom end and less middle this if you take this plus whatever the natural curve of the of the pickup is, which, like I said, is probably something kind of shaped like that, and you put the two together and you get something that's, you know, a little bit more of just a regular nice curve that you'd see on an EQ with a little less mid and a little more bass and a little more treble. So just wanted to pass that little trick on to anybody who wants to give it a shot. Everybody have a good one.